What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of The Escapists. It is day three, I guess. We've been here for a little while. Shut up and face me. That sounds like a challenge, my friend. A challenge. And I got a lot of strength. I got a lot of strength inside of me. You have no idea how deep this strength is. Which of you is going to clean my shoe? Who got a shakedown? I wasn't paying attention. I need a poster. Can you hook me up with one? Yeah, I got you. Chung, my parole was rejected thanks to Officer Sang. I want him bruised. And if you could divert the guard's attention. Nope, that won't do anything for me. Rodney, what you got for me, pal? Got a flashlight and a bottle of sleeping pills. Some shaving cream. That's a new item that I've never seen before. I don't know what that's used for, but I assume it has something to do with our unbearded status. A stepladder can be pretty useful. A file, also pretty useful. I'll take the file. And then I will also take... Eh, that's good. So, are we getting raided right now? I'm a little bit concerned about it. I wasn't paying attention, so... That's what happens when I start doing commentary without reading the things that are happening on screen. I'm a little bit worried about our contraband, so I'm just going to hold on to it for a minute. I think if I take the magazine, I could turn that into a poster for that guy. Like, it's the magazine and, like, some tape or something like that. And it'll turn into a poster, but I don't remember exactly... So who got the shakedown? I don't think it was me. I think they would have been in here already if it was me. Throw our contraband in there real fast. We'll head off to the right, and it's time for a little meal. That dude got his ass whooped. He's got a free he's got a free file though, and I want it. Nice try. Oh no, we got shook down. This is what I get for alright. I gotta reinstate the old rules. I gotta reinstate the day six. Oh my god, we've been in here forever. We have been in here for the longest time. Alright, so let's jump on out. I've We've got this. We've got this. We got shook down hella hard right there. That's what I get for not paying attention. From now on, I have to... I, I had this rule the first time I played the game too. I have to read where the shakedowns are. Wasn't paying attention and it got me in trouble. Alright, shell, shell shakedown. We got this. I thought I waited long enough on that last one. Chung and Craig. Well, I need all kinds of things now that my entire... Ooh, a baton would be nice. Some chocolate would be good too. Let's see, do I still have all the quests that I had previously? Locate a poster for Walt, okay. It's all cracking off at the next exercise period. Guess I shall re-achieve my file. I bet we probably lost our job too. Let me throw this in here and then we'll go check the work office real fast and make sure. We need a way to earn money though aside from just like rumbling and beating people up, so... Let's see. Job board. Gardening is still scud nuts. Oh, okay. So apparently, even if I'm absent for three days because I've done horrible, horrible clandestine things, I still... Oh, we lost a bunch of strength. I need to get back in here and work out. Disappointing. Learning curve, anybody? Learning curve? Yes, indeed. It's okay, though. Once this is all out of the way, this should go very, very seamlessly. Let's go ahead and do our... Hey, I am pushing the Q and the E buttons right now. That's right. Do some push-ups. I demand it of you. I feel like you used to be able to train strength a lot faster. Like, maybe fatigue goes up a little bit quicker than it used to, maybe? I don't know. I could be wrong. I always follow that up with it's happened before, but I think I'm not going to be cliche today. I don't want to become that guy that's always using the same catchphrases. I do! <laughs> I almost started calling you guys instead of the NCE. I almost called people high dutyans for a while. I thought it'd be kind of funny, but I don't know. It had duty in it, and I thought people might get frustrated. Like, hey, duty! What are you doing right now? And I'd be like, well, hi, duty. We could call it hi, dunians. There we go. And then he could be like, the spice must flow. Anyway, let me go back over here. Got the gardening tools. We'll throw that in on that side. You know, I've never watched Dune. Also, never read Dune. I should probably do that at some point. I, did this guy get whooped? Ooh, he did. I want some super glue. No, you didn't. You didn't see that. You're lying right now. Prove that you saw it. <laughs> Show to me what you saw. Give me footage. Until you have footage, I don't believe you. I just want to do my job. I just want to hoe. Hoe's gonna hoe. Let's go over here. I almost super glued that weed to the ground. That would have been the worst mistake ever. Like, we just can't get this one. I don't know what happened. It's like it's stuck with some kind of adhesive. There's two weeds right there. Hoeing for weeds. I'm not seeing anything further. I like the trees along the periphery of the prison. Gives me light, it gives me light cover, but what I've noticed about prisons, at least the one that's like where I live, is that they actually, there's a couple of prisons here. There's one in Martinez, there's one in Vacaville, there's one, there's a couple of prisons around where I live, and they always keep the grounds actually clear to trees. Like there's the prison, and it's just a big empty space, so if you're wondering, like if you're running away, they can see you and like shoot you or something, I don't know. Bacow! Take you out while you're running away through a field. I don't know if that's how it works or not, I'm just making shit up right now. There was a prison break a while back from the one in Vacaville, 
where I guess somebody got out. He ran into the hills. They caught him eventually. It took him like four or five days, though, which was unnerving for all the people that lived over there. But yeah, a guy escaped from in there. It was a prison for like the criminally insane. It's a prison for people with medical needs, I guess. It used to be called California Medical Facility, and it was for people that had, they were criminals with medical needs. So they could be a guy with like cancer who's serving 20 years or something like that. Or B, it could be somebody that's like criminally insane. And so it's kind of like Arkham Asylum being right next to your house. Batman keeps putting people there. It's just this big cycle that just continues on and on and on. You keep being like, Batman, why don't you just take one of them out? Or at least like make your own bat jail inside the bat cave so that you don't have to rely on Arkham anymore. Just do your thing, you know? But for whatever reason, Batman never does. He never does. Like you'd think him and Superman could come up with something like maybe put him in like... I don't know, the Fortress of Solitude seems like a good place that you could house them. Something. Batman and Superman always hanging out anyways. I just did that thing where you click your teeth together while talking, and it hurts like hell, and I'm just so upset about it right now. That was disappointing. We should probably do some sprints or something because I'm a clap you one. I like applause. Applause makes me happy. Makes me feel like I'm appreciated. I'm getting a move on. God, you guys are so demanding. Why can't you just be easier going? out here trying to get my shower on so that I don't have sweaty butt crack. I've had swamp ass for like the last 40 hours, which is pretty amazing considering the fact it hasn't stopped snowing for like the last year. Anyways, you got free period right now. Probably spend this time trying to get my run on. I actually don't think I need to press that as quickly as I'm doing it. I'm going to slow my roll a little bit. Slow my roll. I don't know how you could jog in place for that long. That just seems like it would be super boring. Then again, what happens in normal prison is like the actual areas of the yard where you would jog most of the time are claimed by different groups of people. And so you can't use certain exercise equipment unless you're part of super, like certain groups. And so like if you wanted to do curls or pull-ups or whatever, you got to make sure that the group that you're associated with is allowed to be on the pull-ups during that time. Otherwise, other groups will have a problem with it. Basically, there's not a whole lot of property in prison. And so people start claiming everything, just peeing on everything like dogs and being like, that's mine. That's mine over there. That's mine. Can't be on that. Otherwise, respect. So anyways, there are different corners of the yard, so if you wanted this to be super realistic, like, this group over here would be run by one gang, these mats over here, like, these two right here would only be allowed to be used by a certain group, these three would be for another group, and this one over here would be for, like, a smaller group, and they would be divvied up, and they would do that through, like, little war councils where the group would talk to each other and be like, okay, we agree that this group gets two, this group gets three, and this group gets one so that their guys can work out, blah, 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 they shake hands on it and all that kind of stuff. Kind of crazy, but cool stuff. Lots of cool things about prison culture, and I guess when I say cool, I mean fascinating slash interesting. It's just always interesting to me the way that the human mind will occupy itself and put in a space like that. Like, you just come up with all these arbitrary boundaries and alliances and groups and just ways to, you know, both divide people and protect yourself. It's equal, it's equal parts both. It's protection and it's also keeping people apart. It's weird. It's very, very odd. Never done prison time, but very, very interesting culture that develops in those places. Come on, let's max out that fatigue real fast. There we go. That's what I like to see. And so our speed should be getting a little bit better. We're not that fast yet. And at some point, we're going to have to work on our brain power. But for right now, I'm perfectly fine just being dumb as a brick and getting things done. Been working on some new rumors. You're just making them up. Just sowing discord throughout the grounds. Gotcha. Evening meal time. Yeah, that'll help us get rid of some fatigue. I'm down for it. I usually only go to meals if I need to heal my fatigue. We need to come up with a plan, though. We need to come up with something, because this is not working. We'll get that covered. It's day six, and we have accomplished nothing so far. So with our $31, let's talk to some other people real fast. He's cracking off. Nah. I don't want to, like, beat up guards. Like, that doesn't do anything for me. Like, beating up guards basically guarantees that I'm going to get a ton of heat, and I'm probably going to get shot. And I don't want to do either of those things. Yeah, that's right. I pushed you out of your seat. What are you going to do, chum? What are you gonna do? I need a pocket watch. Can you hook me up with one? Yeah, let's see what's up. I'll get you a pocket watch in just a minute. We got super glue and a crafting note right there. That dude just got whooped. I'm gonna wait this one out until maybe we've got 12 minutes until lunch is over. Or I guess this is dinner, so once dinner is all finished up, supper, if you will, if you wanted to be super specific about it. And then once that ends up, all the guards will leave and I'll be able to loot this guy. And he's got a dodo donut. Okay. Donut with a little bit of extra echo in it. A dodo donut. Can you actually use an extinct creature like the dodo in order to market other things? I think they should. Then again, branding something with something that's gone extinct sort of implies that the brand will be gone before long. So, I don't know. 
Marketing guys, what do you think? There's somebody in marketing right now. I know there's somebody in marketing and advertising right now who can answer this question for me. I always thought that would be a really interesting place to work. And not just because of Mad Men. I actually thought about it long before that show came out. Thought I'd go into it. But then again, marketing is sort of like the business of convincing people that they want shit that they don't need. Like, if you really think about it, I think I heard somebody talk about that one time. How economics is a rational consumer behaving rationally. And that advertising and marketing tries to supplant that by causing people to act irrationally and buy shit that they don't need on a whim. Like, huh. So actually, marketing is fundamentally, I guess, perpendicular to, like, a functioning, or I guess the definition of, a, like, a functioning regular economy or something like that. I don't know. Or was it capitalism? I don't remember. I remember reading something about it back in my academic days, but it, I don't remember it now. I'm sure somebody will clear it up in the comments and be like, actually, the syntax that you used was sort of close, but let me go. I mean, I'm not, like, mocking you right now. Let me be clear. Go ahead and correct me. I'm kind of an idiot. Like, I don't know what I'm talking about. Like, 85. Did that plant just materialize out of the ether? I don't know what I'm talking about, like, 98% of the time, but I say it anyways. But the important thing is, if you're going to, like, say stupid shit, you need to come, like, afterwards and just be like, I don't know what I'm talking about, though. That's the only thing you have to do. And then it's totally okay to say dumb shit. You just, like, follow it with, I don't know what I'm talking about. So then people know to just discount whatever you just said. But, yeah. There we go. We got cooked food. Ooh, that'll give us energy back if we need it. It's not eco it's economics. There we go. A dog tag. Okay, so we got a dog tag in here. What you got for me, Walt? I know you got something up in here. I need to raid desks until we find something good. We got a plastic knife. We got jars of ink. I don't want any of those. I'm not trying to get my octopus on right now. Comb blade right there. That sounds nice. Crafting note. Take that because it'll help out. We got a timber brace. That's actually going to be used if you dig underground. You got to brace the tunnels, otherwise, they collapse on you, causes all kinds of problems. Jaden's desk. There's the pocket watch that we needed. I don't think the dog tag is really useful for anything, but I know the super glue is good for stuff, so I'll take that. The Dota donut. I don't know. Oh, the donut gives me fatigue. Okay, so that'll be cool. It restores fatigue, anyways. I always thought that this is Shea 100% and it should go downwards as you do stuff, but maybe that's just me. We got a toothbrush in there. I can make a sock mace with soap and that right there, which is a pretty good idea, I think. Let me dump this stuff off in my desk real fast. There we go. All full up on contraband. It's time to find ourselves a new hidey hole. And then on this side, we'll take both of these. Is there anything inside the shower block that we need to take care of here? Is there a scanner? No, there's not. Okay. Just trying to make sure of it. I'll probably try and... Let me run for a minute because it's kind of a worthless shower for me. Like, it doesn't do anything. Everybody else is like, trust me, you smell really bad right now. Even though your fatigue is low, your smell is high, my friend. You need to be inside this shower right this second. I will take a little bit of heat in the interest of getting our speed trained up a tiny bit. Come on. Once we get all of our stats maxed out, we'll go and handle the other stuff. There's a fight in the shower, which I think will give me a little bit... Oh, I thought it would give me cover, but it didn't. You cold or something? Talking about another man's Jimmy in the shower. That's risky business right there, my friend. We need to get to roll call, like, right now. So anyways, I'm going to take the donut, though. Maybe eat it along the way. There we go. And once we get back to roll call, we got to make sure that we're not getting shook down. Lucky winners of the shakedowns are... Clark and Scudnuts. They love me today, don't they? They are a fan. Well, let's get the file... Comb blade. I'm trying to end up in the shoe again. It's the secure housing units. What happens if they find you with contraband or anything else? They send you to the shoe. It's the solitary housing unit. Basically, it's solitary confinement. They take you in there, and it depends what prison you go to, but some prisons, solitary confinement is a lot worse than others. Some places, it's just like a big black room that you sit in and do nothing for like a week at a time, or even years. Like, that happens out here where they just like solitary confine people for like years at a time. It tends to happen to people that are like a real, real risk to the rest of the population, though, so it's not like they didn't earn it. But every now and again, somebody does something that just pisses off a guard, and they get thrown in there for a good six months for something that is relatively like not that big of a deal. So anyways, solitary confinement, it's a thing. It actually exists. We'll go ahead and sleep until morning. All right, day number two. I'm going to keep all my contraband on me for right now, just in case we get chosen again. Seems like a decent plan. Throw that in there. Keep my comb blade all taken care of. Is the comb blade any good? It's two out of five. It's not the most amazing weapon, but it's still a pretty decent weapon. I just had, like, the most aggressive nosage ever. Just like, rah! And it, like, came straight at me. I was like, oh, my God. It accelerated so quickly. Time do you call this. The following morons want a cell search. 
Craig and Walt. I need a bottle of medicine. Yeah, let me see what I could do here. Ronald's been disrespecting me. Yeah, I could beat up Ronald. Clark laid out on the floor. Yep, Clark and Ronald. Okay, so I need Clark, and I need Ronald, and then who else am I beating up here? I don't even know who I'm fighting anymore. Clark, Ronald, we have a pocket watch already, and that's for Chung. So let me go take care of that. Grab that out of my inventory. Pocket watch. Where's Chung at? Give that to him. I think that's how you do the quest right there. Yeah, there's our $19. So Chung will probably be happy with us for a little while. That clears out one of the spaces in our journal. Locate a bottle of medicine and a poster. Beat up Clark. So Clark and Ronald are going down today. All right. Whoever sent death threats to the warden will be punished. So Clark and Ronald. Now would not be the time to do it because it's Brecky. We don't want to get into a fight during Brecky. However... There will be metal detectors in all of these areas later on. I wanted to point that out. We're actually like in the easy portion of the game where you can carry contraband around with you all over the place without having to worry about it. As long as you don't go into any of the work areas, you should be good. I need to start looking for options. I think we could take, if we got a sock mace and we have full strength, we should be able to take a guard, I think. So there it is right there. We'll get that maxed out. Run through there. Inside we go. I'm getting to move on. Grab some food. Sit on down, enjoy our morning steak. This is one of those subsidized places. Got all kinds of good food up in here. Mmm, tastes like taxpayer upsetness. And then <laughs> fatigue goes downwards. Oh my god. It's time for our gardening job. And so I need to go back to our room. I need to drop off my contraband before I forget again and max out my heat. I don't feel like garnering any warmth right now. Throw that in there. Keep the sock mace with me just in case we need to throw down with the dude. Actually, didn't we need to take Ronald? Let's take Ronald real fast. <laughs> Oh, we can't make the sock mace until we're smarter. Damn it! Curse my lack of intelligence. All right, well, let's go do our job real fast. Once our job is done, we'll go and start hitting the books. For some reason, just punching books seems to make me a lot smarter. I don't know. It's osmosis or something. There we go. To the top, we don't see anything right here. From the building to the fence. To the sweat rolls down, yo, dance. All you gardeners tense. Oh, ho, 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 ho. All right. It's turning into like a Santa song. Got some weeding done right there. Down to the south we go. Still not seeing too much weed around here. Makes sense because obviously it's probably off limits, but, you know, that's actually what we're gardening right now. We garden it and then we sell it back to the guards who then sell it back to us. It's a rough business to be in, but hey, you got to earn that $13 somehow. Yeah, stab that weed. Looks like we have a pitchfork, not a hoe, but I don't know. Any more weeds around here? It looks like they respawn kind of quick enough for you to get the job done most of the time. I think they changed it. When I streamed, there was no way you were getting it done in time. Like, you had to hustle so fast to get the gardening job done. It looks like it's been tuned down a little bit so that it actually, they respawn faster so that you can get it done. Because the last time I did this, seriously, there were no weeds. They were like nowhere. And you're just like, running around in circles. You lost your job. Then you had to beat a guy with a bit of wood to make sure that you could take his job. It got really rowdy really quickly. We'll drop that off because we have better things to do here today. And now that we have $80, we have Carter over here. Is he one of the guys that I was supposed to jump? Clark. Clark and Ronald. Okay. So let's go find two of these gents. There's Jaden. There's Chung. There's Craig. Who's that? That's Walt. Carter. Ronald. All right. So Ronald's up next. Got to wait till we get him in a nice secluded place, though, to give him some fist love. We should flood the canteen. There it is. Oh, knocked out with two punches. That's what happens, amigo. That's why you should hit the weight bench. Seriously. You see that right there? Ah, flex that bicep. This would be the point at which I would emote a flex bicep. Just to let people know what's up. I should probably do jogging right now. Because I think our strength is pretty good where it's at. Man, people getting beat up today. The guards are taking no prisoners, which is actually sort of weird considering the fact that we are all prisoners. So they should be taking us somewhere, right? I don't know. They're taking us to Beat Down Alley, I guess. Not out to a fancy dinner or anything fun like that. All right. Work that ass. Jog in place. Delete that fat without a trace. Throw your hands in the air like you absolutely do care. All right. We got that right there. Like... I always wondered, so we throw our hands in the air like we don't care, but what do we not care about? That part is never specified. Like, I put my hands in the air, and I'm like, I'm not caring as hard as I can, but I feel like it would be better aligned if I focus that not caring towards a particular subject, or do you just choose one at will? It's a confusing situation to be in. I don't know what to do with myself there. All right, so we got the sock mace. We're in free period right now. Let's go study. Let's go be studious. Our speed is only like halfway up. That's a little bit disappointing. We also need to get... 
Did we get, who do we get? We gotta get Clark still. Where's Clark at? Was that him? Clark, was that you? Ah, oh, watch out. We'll just read for right now. When Clark comes by, we'll take him out. Multitasking! Can we get a job in the library? Is that Ron? No, that's Ronald. I beat him up already. He's probably kind of upset with me right now. He's like, I am not speaking to you. I'm like, but what did I do? And he's like, if you don't know, then I'm not going to tell you. You should know. And I'd be like, oh, we're playing that game right now, are we? We're playing that game. All right. I need to figure out which guards have what keys. He's got a green key, obviously. If you have green and yellow, you can just get straight into the works right over there. I'd like to check that out, actually. Let's see if we can get a green and a yellow key. That's Walt. There's Clark right there. All right. I punched him once, and now he's going to try and run from me. That's how you respond to conflict, huh? Does my bum look big in this? Gotta wait for... Alright, so now we got him. Get down! Got $15 off of him. Let's loot the body real fast. We got a lighter, and we got some soap, a bottle of medicine. I needed that for another quest. So that's gonna be for Krieg. See if we can find Krieg real fast. How's my intelligence looking, by the way? Rodney... Intelligence is looking pretty low. Unfortunately, we need to educate ourselves a little bit further. So let's continue. Mm. Reading. Ah. The consumption of knowledge going into my brain and sustaining my neurons. Talk to you. Give you the bottle of medicine. Earn a little bit more money. Yeah, we're rolling it. We got $128. That'll get us some serious honey buns. That's what they use for currency around here. At least, I don't know if it's, uh, if it's that way everywhere else. But here in California, in prison, honey buns are currency. That's what they use. And so, for example, you use your mess hall, so you have a little bit of money that your family gives you or whatever. You turn that into honey buns, and then you could trade honey buns for anything. If you don't know what a honey bun is, it's like a little hostess snack. It's basically like a little sugar cake type thing that's inside of like a self-sealed package or whatever. And so, the prisoners have hordes of them, like serious, serious amounts of these things. Like, some guys can be very, very wealthy on honey buns. You trade them for just about anything, cigarette, like cigarettes, contraband. I mean, it just depends what you want, but basically honey buns are what the standardized currency are because you can't have money in your cells, and so you're, what they have is you have a canteen there, and so I actually always wondered if they could have something like that in the escape, it's like a canteen you could go to because they have mess hall and they have canteen in prison, and so at one portion of the week, you'll be allowed to go with this big bag, they give you, it's called your canteen bag or whatever your mess bag and it's kind of like this big net bag and you go to the store and you're allowed to use the money that your family sent you to buy things from the canteen he had a sock mace well that saves me a step doesn't it i'm just gonna take yours is it better than what i have good i'm gonna get that right there i'm gonna drop that on the actually plant that on him there we go walt's pockets he's all nice and guilty now it's my gardening job and i'm carrying around contraband balls I don't remember if the stuff that you have, and I'll have to test it out when it's a little bit safer, but anyways, I'm a little bit worried that the stuff that I have in my weapon slot is going to set off the alarm. So let me put that in there, but yeah, anyways, you take your sack off to the canteen, you buy a bunch of stuff, and so that's how they standardize their currency, that's how the prison economy works. You can't have money in general population, it's all kept track of by the canteen on a ledger, and so in order to standardize what they have in prison, they go through and they convert it all to honey buns, and so if you have a lot of money, you turn it into honey buns so that you can buy other stuff with it. Cigarettes, drugs, help, information, just about anything that you would ever need you can get with honey buns in prison. And believe me, I've seen pictures of the stacks of honey buns guys have, like straight stupid amounts of honey buns. Let's see. Wow, there's no plants around right now, are there? Well, damn. All I wanted to do was clean the earth, make it look nicer, make our grounds look wonderful, covered in the snow that they deserve, but not the snow that they want. Let's go down to the bottom. Wow. Hmm, a little barren out here today. Okay. Maybe there's somebody else gardening right now? Taking all my gerbs? Jump up in there and weed that out real fast. To the top side. Damn. Yeah, we might not complete it today. This might not work out for us. We got a problem unless we come across like two plants in the exact same spot that we can just like ping pong in between. All right, we got one right there. Nothing left on the bottom, I swear. This gardening job, I need to beat somebody up and take their job. But it takes good timing and I have bad timing. If there's one thing that Teddy Terror taught me, it's that I have bad timing and that I am just awful at making sure that things go the way that I want them to. I make plans, but I can't promise. Ah, due to your sheer incompetence and inability to reach the quotas we've set, we've taken away your job. Once you pull yourself together and decide to try harder, you may reapply at the job board. 
Well, fine then. I'm going to bring this hoe with me. I'm keeping it as a token for my time spent here. Time for a shower. That's pretty cool. What stat should I need to... Let me get my strength taken care of real fast because it can be maxed out. The fight going on right there. Come on. All I want to see is that 50 HP. All I want to see is that 50 HP. Get down. Get up. Get down. Get down. We got a trout. Ooh, that's good. Okay, I want that. And then we'll train a little while longer so that we're not wasting our fatigue in here taking a shower. There we go. Get it all nice and covered. Work up a lather. My dad always says that about sweating like when you're at work. he would be like, it's not work if you can't work up a ladder. Or I guess work up a lather. There we go. I was thinking ladders because my old man is a roofer. Jump up in here. Evening roll call. I should probably go to that. It seems like a good idea. Let's go make sure we're not going to get shook down because I got some digging to do tonight. Can you dig it? Following scum, get a cell toss. Craig and Walt, not me, I don't care. Chung, teach somebody a lesson during roll call. Eh. Finally found out that somebody snitched on me so I can stab him. Nope, don't want that one. I'm going to look out for a bottle of medicine. Yeah, we could do that one right there. Carter, what you got for me right now? A guard outfit and some crowbars. Okay, that's the only thing on offer right now. Disappointing, but not unexpected. Wait, was my celly the one who's getting... Ah, oh, my celly's getting flipped, though, so I can't dig until I flip my celly. So, we'll give that just a minute. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it off right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me at the Nerdcastle for the next episode of The Escapists. I'll see you all tomorrow. Hi, do everybody.